Good morning, good morning, boys and girls, our parents and guardians from wherever you are watching us from, whatever time you are tuned in. Welcome to our service, but let's begin with a word of prayer. Loving Jesus, we thank you for yet another opportunity to learn at your feet. We pray for a teachable spirit that we may continue knowing you, loving you, and obeying you. In Christ Jesus, we ask and give thanks. Amen. And all God's children say it. Amen. Amen. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, indeed. Welcome, children. Last week was fun, wasn't it? Yes, it yes. was. Well, today we have a new character. Yay! Yay! Well, this new character is not really new. Okay. Because we have had this story over and over again. And I know the children like this story. But today I'll be giving you some new things that you probably didn't know about this story. Today we are looking at Jonah. Ah. Jonah. But oh. first... Teacher Moses? Yes. Some praises. Children, yes. this is the time you throw your sandals <laughs> and you get ready. <laughs> when it is time for praise, what do we do? We, we rise up and energize. When he calls me, I will answer. When he calls me, I will answer. When he calls me, I will answer. I'll be somewhere working for my Lord. Oh, I'll be somewhere working, working somewhere, working, working somewhere, working for my Lord. I'll be somewhere working, working somewhere. Working, working somewhere, working for my Lord. When He calls me, I will answer. When He calls me, I will answer. When He calls me, I will answer. I'll be somewhere, working for my Lord. Oh, I'll be working, I'll be somewhere. Working, working somewhere, working, working somewhere, working for my Lord. Oh, Love him, love him, love him in the morning, love him in the noontime. Love him, 
The time. All the time. And you know, part of the reason why we love him yes. is because he never sleeps mm -hmm. and he never slumbers. That's in Psalm 121. Mm -hmm. Psalms 121. And you want to Amen. sing that song and say, He never sleeps, he never slumbers, Amen. and he never tires to hear us when Amen. we call. Amen. God is able, He is mighty, He is faithful. He never sleeps, He never slumbers, He never tires of hearing our prayers. When we are weak, He becomes stronger. So rest in His love and cast all of your cares on Him. God is able, He is mighty, He is faithful. He never sleeps, He never slumbers, He never tires of hearing our prayer. When we are weak, He becomes stronger. So rest in His love and cast all of your cares on Him. He never sleeps. That's a great assurance. So let's listen to the Bible reading today, right? Yes, and today we have a young man called Favor. Welcome, Favor, and give us the Bible reading. My name is Favor Amani Oma. I am eight years old. The word of today comes from the book of Jonah, chapter 1, verse 1 to 4, verse 15 to 17. It says, one day the Lord spoke to Jonah, son of Amatai. He said, Go to Nineveh, that great city, and speak out against it. I am aware how wicked its people are. Jonah, however, set out in the opposite direction in the order to get away from the Lord. He went to Joppa, where he found a ship about to go to Spain. He paid his fare and went aboard with the crew to sail to Spain, where he would be away from the Lord. But the Lord sent a strong wind on the sea, and the storm was so violent that the ship was in danger of breaking up. Verse 15. Then they picked up Jonah and threw him into the sea, and it calmed down at once. This made the sailors so afraid of the Lord that they offered a sacrifice and promised to serve him. But the Lord's command, a large fish swallowed Jonah, and he was inside there, inside the fish for three days and nights. This is the word of the Lord. And together we say, 
Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Welcome, Favor. You've read the Bible reading very well, and you've done it several times. So we want to appreciate you by giving you a calamander. Are you ready, team? Yes. Yeah. Calamander. Calamander. Senor. Well done. Amen. Amen. Wow. We have heard this story many, many times. Now, I want to tell you something about Jonah and something about Nineveh. I'll start with Jonah. Now, Jonah, we are told, was the son of a guy called who? Who remembers the name of the father? It's there in that text. We've last listened to it. <laughs> Let me tell you what the name is. It has tie somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> it has tie somewhere. I like that. And it starts with the first letter of the e. alphabet. Well, Amitai was the father of Amitai. Jonah. That's not a very common name. It's yeah. not very no. common. It's not no. David. No. We no. Might, no. I wonder whether we can find it in the left side. Hmm. Mm. Mm. Maybe we don't know. There. Looks like... Costarians would have a name. Oh, okay. Costarians <laughs> might have such a name. Well, yeah. or the pastoralist. Yes. yes. Sure. Yeah. So yeah. that was his father. That's what we are told. Mm -hmm. And the first time, well, it's not the first time. We've, we hear about Jonah in other books of the Bible. And one of those books is Second Kings. And Second Kings tells us that Jonah was a prophet during the time of. Jeroboam 2. You guys remember that uh, the first mm -hmm. time the kingdom mm -hmm. of Israel was divided, we had a king called Jeroboam and another king called Rehoboam. Mm. So this was Jeroboam 2, which means he was the son of Jeroboam, Jeroboam. 1. Mm. So the, it means that there was a Jeroboam 1, eh? Yes. Um, Jeroboam so that's the first and the second. Yeah, the first <laughs> and the second. So 2 Kings chapter 14, verse 25 tells us or introduces us to a prophet called Jonah. And you know he prophesied that King Jeroboam would help regain some territories that had been taken from the children of Israel as part of their land. And do you know what? Jeroboam too succeeded to regain back that land. And so we meet Jonah there. Now I want to tell you something about Nineveh. You know, Nineveh was the capital city, the way Nairobi is the capital city of Assyria. Oh. Oh. And I'll tell you the reason why Jonah was running away from going to Assyria. You see, the Bible in Amos, I think it must be Amos chapter 4, verse 2. Children, I want you to note down those verses so that when we stop this or we finish this lesson, you can go back and, and write it down mm. uh, and, and be able to read it. So Jonah, uh, uh, John, I mean Nineveh, we are told, was the capital city of Assyria. Now you see, Prophet Amos in Amos chapter 4 verse 2 tells us that the Assyrians were very harsh. In fact, before we read about them in Amos 4 2, we, I need you to know that when the kingdom was divided into two, there were two tribes and there were ten tribes. Do you know Assyria had actually captured the ten tribes and taken a big number of people as captives? Wait. Oh. Yes. Captured the ten? Yeah. I ten tribes. That. They had conquered yeah. them and captured many to be slaves. They were so strong. It was a strong nation. It was a strong, mm. big nation. So Amos chapter 4 verse 2 is telling us that the Assyrians used to tie two people together on the nose steels yeah. yeah. and then pull them. Wow. You know the way you hook a fish? Imagine. Ah, this is, yeah, you know, or a cow. That's what the Assyrians used to do mm. to their slaves, the Israelites. They were now, very bad people. It's important mm. for you to see the reason why Jonah was running away. Even me. Mm. Do, you, do you see how many he was to his people? Yes, they yes. were The Assyrians yes. were to, the, to his people? Yes. Very cruel. They were so cruel to the yes. Israelites. 
Chopilia. And, yes. You know me, my tuk-tuk does around 70 kilometers to 80 kilometers per hour <laughs> when <laughs> I am in high speed. Would, but I think I would have exceeded the limit. Ugenda 120. Running away from the enemy. Where they're hooking people's nose. <laughs> and then I go no, there. No, 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 no. I can't. So you see, the book of Jonah mm -hmm. begins with the story of Jonah without telling us that story Sorry. of how the Assyrians who now are the Ninevites, who are so mean to the Israelites. Yeah. So now God, in Jonah chapter 1, calls, tells, gives uh, Jonah a, a word. And he tells Jonah, I want you to go to Nineveh and give a word against them. Because their wickedness, their sin has reached to me. <laughs> Those very sins I'm talking about, eh? mm -hmm. they, are, they were very naughty. This is the time, sorry, Topila. This mm. is the time mm. I, I, I call God to our Aside corner. Aside for a conversation, <laughs> to reason together with him. You want me to go there. <laughs> surely. I, uh -uh. So, you remember we have said that Jonah was a prophet. Yes. And there are so many prophets we read about in the Bible who would be given the word to the Israelites. Now this time they've been given, Jonah is being given a word to the enemy of Israel. And so he's told go tell them to repent or else. I'm going to do what? We'll read more about it. We'll read more about what exactly the message was about. But at least we know that God was very unhappy with the Assyrians and he wanted to give them a chance. So anyway, guess what Jonah does? He ducks. Hey. As soon as he hears the word like of God, Jonah is my guy. Was there a tuk -tuk? <laughs> Jonah is my guy. Sasa hizo siku, I think, kulikuwa akukuwa na tuk-tuk. Because you see, this story yes. is squarely at the, the seashore. Yes. Squarely at the seashore. So there was like a scooter there? Or something. Nah, well, maybe there was. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But you see, let's say Nineveh is this side. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Jonah amesikia Mungu amemuongelesha akamwambia aje go to Nineveh. Mm -hmm. Ali pretend hajasikia. <laughs> Akaanza kuenda east side bio. <laughs> so we are told yeah. he goes to the seaside. He finds there is a ship that is about to leave. Mm -hmm. And you know he what he does he does what? He pays a ticket and he's ready to go to another place called Joppa. Hey. So quickly he got in, onto the ship. Of course sailors are wajui Ata uyo kap, uh, Captain Haju, what is going on with Jonah? So they all received. I have them. remembered something. Ebu tell us. Actually, mm -hmm. the ship was leaving Joppa. Oh, it was li going leaving Joppa. To Tarshish. And it yes. was going to Tarshish. Yes. yes. So you can see what happens to Jonah. Mm -hmm. He gets mm -hmm. into the ship kind, nicely, nicely. You know mm -hmm. how you get onto a, a journey? I'm yeah. sure some of us here have been on a journey, either on a ship yes. or even a boat. Or a tuk -tuk. <laughs> Running away from something, eh? I'm um, not so sure. Well, I guess or having fun. Many of us yes. who get onto a boat, crossing from one side to from the other. From one side to the other. Sometimes yes. it's for fun yeah. to enjoy ourselves and to have or fun. Or there's no other means of transport. Or maybe there's no other no. means of transport. We just need to get to the other mm -hmm. side. So he gets onto that ship. And we don't know how long after that journey had started. And the Bible tells us. God caused a strong wind and strong waves. And you know what? That is what is happening to that ship. Eh. Hmm? Just rocking. Eh? It's rocking. Oh. Now, you see, the people like captains who either are a driver maybe of a bus or mm. the ones who uh, fly aeroplanes are called what? Pilots. 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 Yes. Or in this case, a ship captain. Or a coxswain. <coughs> oh, co <coughs> coxswain. Yes. That's yes. what they are called. Senorita. Oh, yes. Senorita, oh, but do you say? Yes. We are sorry. You see, we are sorry. a lot of them, they know actually possibilities of things that could go wrong on a journey. Mm -hmm. But you know, the Bible is telling us even the captain was scared. Yes. So you can imagine how it must have been so turbulent or so shaky. And you know, all of them were so scared, they began to pray. Uh -huh. mm, Auntie Lea. Yes. Okay. Some years ago, uh -huh. I was in such a storm. Okay. Wait. Uh, Mercy. Yes. yes. Hey. 
You are running tell away us, from. Tell us, tell us, tell us. <laughs> this is interesting. When you tell hear us. that these people prayed, uh-huh. Uh-huh. it was a two-hour journey uh-huh. in the ocean. Where was that? You were crossing from Zanzibar to Dar es Salaam. Uh-huh. I prayed for the entire two hours. What uh-huh. happened, Kwani? Because it was, there was a great storm. It was so scary. Uh-huh. And just like those sailors, we thought that was our end. Personally, I prayed for two hours. I reminded two. God a few things. <laughs> in case he had forgotten. <laughs> yeah, about how you had served him and all. Yes, eh? how I have served <laughs> him, how I have children, you how have I didn't want to die. Person. I was not ready. Yeah. <laughs> I can imagine what they went through. They were yes. all praying. And yes. then they remained, but wait a minute. There is somebody in this ship who is not here. Wakatarem kachine na makasiriko. Jonah! Where was he? Where was he? Where was he? How can he sleep in a storm? Can you imagine the guy was sleeping? At what? Hey. He, was sleeping. He, was sleeping. Hey. he was in deep sleep. Hey. How, how could he find sleeping hey. in Let the middle of a storm? When it is rocky storm. like that. I have an afraid. idea. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I don't know whether you remember when you were small, umefanya kitumbaya. Mm-hmm. Those are the days when alalanga mapema. Usikizi uh-huh. uh-huh. <laughs> some, has somehow appears early. Before mommy and daddy arrive, you already are asleep. Wakikuja wapati usha alala. <laughs> Sorry, I have a confession. There was yes. a time I did some wrong. Then I went to hide in my mommy's, under my mommy's bed. bed. Wow. I, I got... I, I slept there till morning. They looked for me. They couldn't find me. Now and I think floor. Moses... <laughs> Moses understands what Jonah <laughs> must have been going through. Because you see, Jonah knows mm-hmm. he's been sent by God. Mm-hmm. And then he does not want to go. Remember, we know the reason why he doesn't want to go. He, know, he knows that Nineveh, very Ninevites are very naughty people. They yeah. are wicked people. They are bad people. That's the reason why he's running out. But nevertheless, still, God sent him. Mm. So he still disobeyed. He did something bad. So I think that maybe that's part of the reason why he was sleeping. Amka! <laughs> what do you mean you are sleeping and here we are about to drown? Huh? Can you call upon your God like the rest of us? We've been praying and nothing is happening. Pray. Mm. And then as the Jonah, Jonah too, and his mama pale, maybe he wasn't even praying, they decide, you know what? We are going to cast lots and see who among us has, has done something wrong. You know those days, according to their culture, they used to cast lost, lots so that they can be able to know maybe what God is saying or when somebody has done something wrong or something like that. If you remember, let me remind you the story of uh, when the disciples, um, when Jesus went to heaven, see the disciples were left by themselves. Mm. Uh, there were 11. So they needed mm. to know who will be the 12th. Mm-hmm. And the Bible tells us they cast lots to decide between two people. Mm. You remember who those two people were? One was Matthias. Uh-huh. I have forgotten the second one. Who mwingine alikuwa anaitwa Barnabas. Barnabas, yes. Alafu wakachagua nani? Matthias. Wakachagua Matthias. So it was their way of finding something or getting the truth to them of the matter. So they found out mm-hmm. when they cast lost that it fell on Jonah. I my uh, man, yeah. to ambie, my friend. <laughs> what what have you who, first of all, they, they first started asking him who are you? Where do you come from? What have you done? Yani wali muliza maswali zime kuata na hivi. Who are you? Where do you come from? What have you done? Why are we in this trouble? What yeah. do you expect from a suspect? <laughs> you must answer all these questions. <laughs> and you know, he began to tell them who he is. You know, they were foreigners. You know, I mean, they were not from the same country as as, as Jonah. Jonah. So he says, I'm a Hebrew. I serve the living God. In fact, he tells them he is the one who created the sea, which is raging right now, mm. and the dry land. Wow. Meaning, he has got power over sea and land. Mm. He could mm. save us from this sea and take us to the land. He is actually testifying about God who he is running away from. Wow. So he gives them a testimony, introduces his God, really gives big, big testimony about God, and then they are like, okay, mister, what should we do? Because mm. when you may help our God, mm. tell us what should we do to you? Because really, by that time, you know, because they don't want to drown anyway. Hey, wait. Mm. They, they threw their what? Luggage. Imagine, they had carried their luggage, maybe walikuwa nafanya biashara, all that had been thrown onto the sea because they were hoping if it is lighter, it can, it can be able Oy. to continue to stay afloat wow. and they can be able to reach, reach to the shore. Mm. What a so loss. It was if they were business people, they went at a loss. They must yeah. have gone to at a big loss. Or even clothes. 
and that, that's the, all their clothes because it's a journey. Yeah. Some of the people who are traveling maybe going for a longer journey mm. for two weeks before they come back to their place. Even we gifts said it's for their family. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Gifts. Who knows? Wow. So anyway, they had done all that and nothing had changed. So finally, they are like, okay, we've done all we could. Now we know where to mefanya makosa. What should we do to you? <laughs> and I know sometimes your mommy or daddy asks you, what punishment do I give you? <laughs> if you ask me that, tell me simple. what punishment. How many kids do I, should I give you? It's simple, no kids. Eh? Masi, have you ever told your children that? Yes. Oh, yes, many times. How yes. many kids do I give you? Well, they would choose the punishment. Yes. <laughs> so, Wakamuliza, what should we do? And you know, he just thought, Afadhali wa nitupe uku nje ya maji, ndani ya maji, so that because it's me who is causing all this trouble, so that they can be able to travel safely to wherever they are going. Aye. And let me tell you, me, I think these people were more holy than Jonah. Even if they, you know, the Bible tells us they were serving other gods. Mm -hmm. And Jonah is serving the true living God. Yes. But they behaved better That's than him. Wrong. Because, you know, they try to save him. You know them, they understand the sea has got all manner of creatures. Mm -hmm. They know that if they throw him there, he's going to die. So they were praying, please God, if we throw this man and he dies, please don't, don't consider us to have sinned. We've done all we could. Because they actually tried to continue Lea. sailing. Sorry, I'm, uh, today I'm interrupting you. Uh, so they were praying to which God? <laughs> you <Yeah>. see, <laughs> I think they were praying now to the God of Jonah, yes. appealing to him, please don't punish us as the way you are punishing him. Because oh. when we realize God is punishing Jonah for running away yeah. from oh, him. So mm. anasema, please, na sisi tukifanya dhambi ya kumtupa ndani ya maji, please don't punish us. Because oh. they are like, if God, if your God can do this, even us, we will be in trouble. Oh, I see. So they tried to so sail a little, and then nothing was changing. It was still heavy. It was rocky. And they were like, oh my God, I think we might end up still having to throw him. Yes, King, cousin Kim. No, I, David. I, I have just realized mm. those people left Jop, Jopa when they are worshiping idols. Yes. And they will oh. go back when they are worshiping the one true God. <laughs> I'm telling you, that, that is, is exactly scary. what the scripture is telling us because mm -hmm. at this point, Mm -hmm. They just made a decision because they realized if we don't throw the guy inside Akufe Pekeake, we will all die. Mm -hmm. So they had to make a choice. They threw him. In, immediately they threw him inside that water. Guess what? The sea became calm. Pop. Wow. And you know, the Bible tells us that they were amazed. You know, they were like, hey, this God of Jonah is real. And you know the Bible tells us they actually worshipped him and gave a sacrifice to him because they were in such shock that the sea could actually mm -hmm. calm and they realized actually this God of Jonah is the true God. He is the one who created the sea and the dry land. Okay, this is the true God. And wow. they decided to worship him. Imagine. Wow. What a story. I wonder children if you know, knew all that story and how we have told it today. Maybe we have added two or three things that you didn't know about wow. the Ninevites wow. yes. and about mm. Jonah. Mm. I know we can draw some lessons from this story. Mm. Who wow. would like to go first? Their lessons. It is, must be very difficult to run away from. Hey, where? Where <laughs> <laughs> can you <laughs> <laughs> When you run away from God, mambo in haribika. It's also a lesson. Yes, yeah. it it's is. You lesson. cannot hide. Yeah. The psalm is actually reminds us that. Mm. Yeah, mm. in Psalm 139. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> now, uh, I'm picking something from this uh, story. Yes, Kim. One outstanding thing mm. is about how God speaks. Uh, in, in this chapter, mm -hmm. we see God speaking to Jonah and he's sending him to a city called Nineveh mm -hmm. to deliver his message. Mm. And uh, even in the sea, when Jonah is asleep and uh, these people are having this storm, God is actually using the storm to tell them, there is one of us, one of you in this ship who has sinned against me. So it's, there's still a way God is communicating to them. Mm. So God speaks to his people. Mm. God speaks to people. Mm. And I want children to know today that God speaks to children too. He can speak to children through their parents, mm -hmm. through their teachers in mm -hmm. school, through Sunday school teachers, mm -hmm. 
through uh, through through nature they mm. can even hear a voice like Samuel did yeah god can speak to them through or even a deep conviction that is maybe a desire a feeling to do the right thing mm. so god speaks to children and i think he can speak through dreams too like joseph yeah, he can speak mm. through dreams and many other ways mm. because he is the controller of everything mm. and we need to the children need to appreciate that mm. god speaks to them and they need to know how to listen and to obey him Amen. Wow. Wonderful story. Otherwise, mm. you might be like Jonah if you don't obey. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Somebody else who has a lesson for us today? I think I can tie it from where Kim has left it. Mm -hmm. That we don't have to wait until we are adults like Jonah to hear God. Mm. Yeah. But also, children, what about how God is powerful? Our God is so powerful. You have heard the story. How he brings the storm and the timing of the storm when they're already in the deep waters, for him to communicate something, that something is not right here among you. And because he is so powerful, when Jonah is thrown in the water, everything stops. That's the power of God. Mm. He is so powerful that from his power, these sailors actually discover this must be a true God, yeah. that they add up Loving him and obeying him, mm. sacrifice, giving a sacrifice. Mm. How great and awesome is our God. He is so, so powerful. Are you sensitive to his power, children? He can show his power anywhere, in nature, in you. Are you sensitive to his power? You know what song I'm reminded? Mm -hmm. My God is so, so big, so, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. Yes, yeah. he can speak to you anywhere. Sure. One time he spoke to a relative of Moses through a burning bush. Yeah. Sure. He is God. <laughs> my great, great, great yes. grandfather. Oh, it's your great, great. <laughs> your night was the I'm same. I'm telling you. <laughs> my yeah. lineage is, eh? Hey, mm. Don't joke, <laughs> Buana. Yeah. Yeah. So God's power comes to communicate to us mm. and to change us for better people. Yes. I want to great. draw a lesson from what uh, Teacher Masi is saying. God is so mighty. And it means... He can cause there to be trouble so that you call on him. Because that's exactly what happened in this story. And children, I want you to, I want you to know today, if you ever find yourself in trouble, I know a lot of times we call upon mama, and maybe mama is so far away. <laughs> it's so natural, especially for girls, mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> mommy, to call mommy. <laughs> yeah. I don't know who you usually call upon, but I want to introduce you to you a new idea. When you're in big trouble, don't sleep like Jonah slept. Mm -hmm. Going to hide. Just speak to God and tell God, please God, I know I've done something wrong and my mommy might beat me today. I'm very sorry. Please forgive me. So that by the time your mommy and daddy comes, God will give you the words to say sorry and then they will forgive you quickly instead of hiding under the bed yeah. <laughs> or sleeping mapema so that you don't have to face your parents. So there are so many lessons, children, we can learn from this story. And I am praying that God will help you from today onwards to see that it's important to obey God because no matter how far you try to hide, you can never hide like we have heard from Psalms chapter 139. Oh, yeah. You can never hide from God. And you know, we will learn so much from this book. So stay tuned for the rest of the chapters of yeah. this book. So we have a memory verse. Me, me, I, yes, want, I want do. to know what happened to Jonah when he was thrown in. The you are so sure. eager. Ah, you will learn about that next Sunday. Okay. Keep tuned. Okay. And now we want to invite Amanda to give us the memory verse of the day. Welcome, Amanda. Hi, my name is Amanda Nonsa. I'm nine years old. Our memory verse today is taken from the book of Romans, chapter 11, verse 30. It says, Just as you, who are one time disobedient to God, have now received mercy as a result of their disobedience. Romans, chapter 11, verse 30. Well done. Let's appreciate that girl. Let's give her a calamander. Kalamanda! Kalamanda! Signorita! Kalamanda! Kalamanda! Signorita! Well done, Amanda. And just to remind 
the children out there, if you are interested in taking part in the Bible reading or memory verse, get in touch with us with the email address displayed on our screen, and we'll also get back to you and assign you some work to do. We want to do this together to take the gospel to a billion children for Christ. Mm. As we come to the end of this exciting story, uh, we also want to tell God thank you because of his love upon us. He has protected us. He has done so much for us. And we are saying thank you by also giving back part of what is given us through our pay bill 30, 30, 36. And the account is Sunday school. And God will bless you. And until there, you will pray for, you'll give thanks for the offertory as you also commit us before God in the remaining part of the week. Sure. Let us pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, we are thankful so much for this day. Thank you for this lesson that we have learned today about Jonah and the importance of repentance when we have done something wrong. We have learned the importance of obedience when you call us. We have learned so many lessons, oh God. And so we pray that you may guide all these children so that they will make the right choice as far as obeying you is concerned. Thank you for this offertory that has been given through their parents. Lord, we pray that you bless them and add more to them. I pray that this offertory will be used for the extension of your kingdom and especially in reaching a billion children for Christ. I especially now commit these children to your hands together with your guardians, their parents, oh God, and the entire country and the world, oh God. This time we are going through trouble. Probably this corona time that we are, we are facing lots of deaths and so many other troubles. is like that time of Jonah. There was a lot of uh, turmoil inside that water. L so many waves rocking the boat and the ship. Lord, I pray. There are many people here who could be getting so afraid, so scared. I pray that you cause them to call upon you, oh God. Because when they call upon you, you hear them like that time. When these people who didn't even know you, called upon you as they had been advised by Jonah and the sea calmed. I know you're going to calm our situation of corona. I know you're going to calm our situation of many other troubles that we are going through as a country and even at an individual level. Remember our children even as they continue to enjoy their holiday, watch over them even as they go back to school, that Father you will continue to watch over them. Guide us all for it is in Jesus name we do pray and believe. Amen. Amen. The Amen. Lord bless you, children. In fact, I want to say, the Lord bless you, the Lord keep you, the Lord make his face to shine upon you. Amen. 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 So we end our lesson today. Yeah. And wow. Which song are we going to end with, Teacher Moses? Praise him. Okay. All right. Praise him. Praise, Praise him. Praise him in the morning, praise him in the noontime, praise him.